Okay, we're going to be looking on pages Excel 36 and 37 in which we're going to be copying formulas with relative cell references. So we're going to be getting back to our spreadsheet now. Now copying and moving a cell allows you to reuse a formula you've already created. Copying cells is usually faster than retyping the formula in them and helps prevent typing errors. Now if the cells you are copying contains relative cell references, you want to maintain the relative cell referencing and you don't need to make any changes to the cells before copying them, in which we've already done this several times throughout our 20% rise, average, minimum, maximum, and our totals. So like I said, this is kind of by default how we've been doing things. So we're gonna look at um, step one, and it tells us that we wanna click on cell B21 on there, and we're gonna click on the copy button up in the clipboard group. And of course now we notice that the formula here that we had for calculating the 30% increase is now going to be copied to the clipboard. We can open up our clipboard and there is the, the actual formula. Even though it gives us the result, it's the actual formula that is going to be put in there. And of course next, we're going to click on cell C21. When we do that, we're going to click on the paste button there. And of course you notice that even though that this had this number on here, when we paste that here, it actually pasted the formula uh, on there. So you want to click the paste button, not the list arrow, not the bottom part, uh, on there. And of course the formula from cell B21 has now copied into cell C21 where the new result of 44,798.988 appears. And of course, notice in the formula bar that the cell reference has changed, so that cell C12 is referenced in the formula. This formula contains a relative cell reference, which tells Excel to substitute new cell references within the copied formula as necessary. This maintains the same relationship, the new cell containing the formula, and the cell references within the formula. In this case, Excel adjusted the formula so that cell C12 the cell reference nine rows above C12 replace cell B12, which is the cell reference above, uh, or nine rows above cell B21. So if you can look at it this way, this is where it was looking at. When we copied it one column to the right, that's where it moved its focus to is right here, not over here. So it's automatically updating that, and that is what we call the relative cell reference, and that's what we've been doing all this time. Now, of course, once we have this, we can actually just go ahead and drag our fill handle, and this will do it for us automatically, and it updates all the formulas. Now, of course, to paste only specific components of copied cells or a range in the paste list arrow, uh, that's, when, that's why you need to click that if you want to copy just specific components uh, that's on there. And then that's when you can click Paste Special, and you can selectively copy formats, formulas, values, comments, validation rules, um, transpose columns and rows, paste a link, or add, subtract, multiply, or divide using Paste Special dialog box options. Now we're not going to get into all those special uh, paste option uh, features on there. We're just going to be working with uh, quickly copying and pasting these formulas. Now, of course, once we've done this and we've dragged the fill handle from cells, uh, cell C21 to cell E21, that is step three, the formula similar to the one in cell, t cell t uh, C21 now appears in cell D21 and E21. And after you use the fill handle to copy the cell contents, the autofill option button, which we see down here, uh, appears. And you can use this autofill options button to fill the cells with only specific elements of the copied cell if you wish. So it's very similar to the paste uh, options button on there as well. Now if we take a look on step four, it tells us that we want to go up here to cell F4. When we click on cell F4, it tells us that we want to click the auto sum button in the editing group. So we go up here and we just click on the auto sum button and we're going to add these up. Once we have that, we're, we're just going to accept this because we want the sum of B4 to E4, and we click on our enter button, and notice it gives us our total. You can go ahead and close the clipboard if you'd want to at this time. Now what we're going to do is, it tells us in the clipboard group, with this still selected, 
we're going to click on copy and then we're going to select the range F5 to F6 then we're going to click on the paste button and of course once we do that and after you click on the paste button you'll notice that down here is the paste options button which we can click on that we see that there's all different types of options that's there it says which you can use to paste only specific elements of the copied selection if you wish the formula for calculating total expenses for tours in Britain appears in the formula bar it says now you would like the totals to appear in cells F7 to F11 and of course the fill button and the editing group can be used to copy the formula into the remaining cells so that's what we're going to use so we're not going to use these options here what we're going to do is we're going to select F6 to F11 once we have that we're going to click on our fill button up here and that's in the editing group and we're going to fill down and once we do that of course now all the formulas containing the relative cell references are copied to each cell and of course notice that none of the formulas are the same that all the numbers have been they are changing depending on relative to where they're at you know since this is all in cell or in the row 11 it's adding up all the ones in 11 this is adding all the ones in 10 uh, so that is the use of a relative cell reference so go ahead and save your work on there now of course you can use a paste preview and of course uh, that's one thing that uh, we can take a look at this information is on page Excel 37 now you can selectively copy formulas values or other choices using the paste list arrow and you can see how the pasted contents will look using the paste preview feature now when you click the paste list arrow a gallery of paste options icons opens very similar to what we've seen just a second ago now when you point to an icon a preview of how the content will be pasted using that option is shown in the worksheet options including or include pasting values only pasting values with number formatting pasting formulas only pasting formatting only pasting transpose data so that column data appears in rows and row data appears in columns and pasting with no borders and that's to remove any borders around pasted cells and that just gives you some options and like I said once again that's something that you want to play with uh, the more familiar you get to be with Excel and of course now we have also took a look at the autofill option um, that appears when we fill that in using the autofill handle um, and the autofill options differ depending on what you are copying now if you had selected cells containing a series like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on uh, you would see the options continuing the series such as Wednesday and Thursday or for simply pasting the copy cells clicking the autofill option button opens a list that lets you choose from the following options copy cells fill series fill formatting only fill without formatting or flash fill choosing copy cells means that the cells contents and its formatting will be copied the fill formatting only option copies only the formatting attributes but not the cell contents and it's almost like using the format pan uh, painter in a way uh, the fill without formatting option copies the cell contents but no formatting attributes copy cells is the default option when you use the fill handle to copy a cell so if you want to copy the cells contents and its formats you can ignore the auto fit option button now the flash fill option allows you to create a customized fill ranges on the fly such as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 by entering at least two values in a pattern and Excel will generally automatically sense the pattern and will continue uh, filling in uh, using the pattern so make sure that you go ahead and save your information because that's all the information that we have on pages Excel 36 and 37 and the next one we're going to be working with absolute cell references so make sure that you do save your work and you're ready to move on to the next video.